Hi, I'm Dave Marquardt, owner of Skeeter Boat Center here at our new location in Ramsey, Minnesota. Today I'm going to walk you through the Skeeter MX 2025. We believe that the Skeeter MX 2025 is the most versatile multi-species fishing boat that you can buy. You can use the MX 2025 to chase walleyes on big water lakes, to pursue your personal best muskie, to fish salmon, trout, or smallmouth bass on the Great Lakes. This boat excels at river fishing. It's a perfect boat for fishing on Mille Lacs. Big walleyes, big muskies, and big smallmouth bass. The MX 2025 can do it all. It will help you catch any type of fish anywhere and do it with ease. You know, Skeeter boats are built like no other, and Skeeter takes great pride in listening to what fishermen want. So here are five reasons why you should consider the MX 2025 from Skeeter Boat Center. Number one, outstanding fishability. Number two, amazing boat control. Number three, flexible storage solutions. Number four, performance versatility. And number five, value for your money. Let's talk about fishability. The MX 2025 is a 20 foot, two inch, dual console fiberglass fishing boat and it's a wide open fishing platform. The front deck is 74 inches long and has plenty of room to fish two people up front fishing for big muskies. The cockpit is a dance floor. It's 83 inches long and is roomy and comfortable for four adult fishermen and their gear. It's only 11 inches from the floor to either deck, making it very easy to move safely throughout the boat. You won't wear yourself out climbing up and down to high rear decks. The rear cockpit floor space is wide open, allowing more than one person to fish at the back of the boat, especially when trolling. The rear deck is 39 inches deep and very, very spacious. There's an optional 13 inch deck extension. It's easy to put in and out and it creates additional storage space for gear and tackle. In addition to being a wide open fishing platform, the MX 2025 has rock solid stability. The transom at the waterline is almost 89 inches wide. You can move around the boat freely without upsetting the balance of your fishing partners. And there's virtually no lean when everyone goes to the same side of the boat to land a fish. The MX 2025 is designed with a low profile. It sits really flat on the water. The medium depth gunnels get you close to the water for precision presentations and landing fish without compromising safety. The gunnels are 26 inches deep at the council, tapering to 20 inches at the rear of the cockpit. The MX 2025 allows you to use any fishing presentation you choose without limitation. Motor trolling. Use the main motor to troll a lure at three to five miles per hour. Add a kicker for low speed motor trolling and back trolling. And remember, if you use a kicker for trolling, you'll save time on your big motor for future resale value. Pitching. You're close enough to the water to pitch light jigs or blades from either deck with maximum feel and control. The tops of the gunnels are flat, allowing for easy installation of track systems or handline systems. Chase bass or muskies into shallow water. The MX 2025 drafts only 14 inches. Drag a jig with a bow mount or drift your favorite reef. The MX 2025 allows you to fish the way you want and to do it with precision. Outstanding boat control is another strong attribute of the MX 2025, and it all starts with the React keel. On the MX 2025, the combination of the low profile design and the React keel allow you to spend more time concentrating on fishing and less time fighting with boat control. The React keel is an accentuated keel that keeps your boat glued to the water. Track brake lines with amazing precision with your bow mount or your kicker, especially in windy conditions. Drift a reef with complete control. The MX 2025 does a perfect drift. The React keel knifes deep into the water to provide similar resistance to the motor's lower unit at the other end of the boat, providing a slower, perpendicular drift with the wind. Now let's discuss the MX 2025's flexible storage solutions. The MX 2025 swallows up an amazing amount of gear through the resourceful use of space. Let's take a look at where your rods will be stored. 
The center rod locker will take rods up to nine feet long, which is about a foot longer than most boats. You'll also notice that there's a short little step where the rod butts can sit, which allows the reels to uh, kind of hang down and keep everything organized. In the center rod locker, you probably are gonna be able to fit somewhere between 12 to 15 rods. It allows you to pack a ton of gear in the center rod locker. The other place you'll store your rods is a feature unique to the Skeeter MX-2025. It's called the rod holster, and it's built into the port side gunnel. What really sets rod storage apart in the 2025 is the rod holster's ability to store rods fully assembled much longer than seven or eight feet. In fact, the rod holster will take six to eight rods up to 13 feet in length fully assembled. So you can stow all your tolling rods here in the side or your long musky rods and they're off the floor where they're not gonna get stepped on, but they're ready to go when you're ready to use them. We're up here at the front deck of the MX-2025. And in addition to the center rod locker, there are two cavernous gear storage compartments. A larger one on the port side of, of the bow and a, and a smaller one on the starboard. And Skeeter is known for their deep and cavernous storage units. And you can just put tons and tons of gear into these two units. And there's one thing that I know for sure is through all my years of fishing, fishermen have never told me that they've had too much room for storing their gear. The final compartment on the bow of the MX-2025 is the bait well or front live well. There's a small bait well live well just in front of the driver's console. Moving to the center of the boat, Skeeter has implemented some very, very resourceful storage systems, starting with the glove box. Most glove boxes you would look at are, are very small. They have small door openings, and you can maybe put a wallet and a cell phone in them. Not the Skeeter glove box. You can see the opening here is very, very large, and when you open it up, there's room to put big items into this glove box. Now, what you can't see on the camera is that this glove box actually is deep. It goes all the way to the bottom of this uh, council trim, and it goes all the way back to the front council, and it's carpeted all the way through from side to side. You'll never find a bigger glove box than the glove box on the MX-2025. Now moving below the glove box, you can see that there is a carpeted shelf underneath the console. In fact, there's one under each console. It's, it's uh, about halfway up and it's also it's carpeted and it's removable. So if you, if you wanted to have a big crate of, of uh, fishing gear or a big uh, duffel bag or something like that, that would fit easily in under the console. But most people leave the shelving in and what they do is uh, they put tackle boxes or crankbaits uh, several different applications would be, for example, the B&B uh, crankbake boxes would fit nicely underneath the shelf. And they'll stay in these shelves while you're running in pretty rough conditions. Moving to the rear of the Skeeter MX-2025, the storage theme continues. Skeeter has taken the initiative to use every single inch of usable space, whether it be under a deck, inside a gunnel, under a console, any space that could be used for uh, storage, Skeeter has used that space for storage. On the rear deck, there are two uh, large storage areas on either side of the 50 inch live well underneath the deck. There are removable uh, compartments that you can actually pull out and there's actually more room underneath there if you wanna put anchors or things of that nature in this compartment. Or you have this removable plastic sleeve that will actually carry eight 3750 Plano box all stacked in an order. So that's uh, eight 3750 Plano boxes on this side, eight 3750 Plano boxes on the other side. That's 16 boxes of tackle in the most popular configuration. So very resourceful use of uh, storage on the rear deck. The live well on the MX-2025 is a 50 inch live well. And as you notice, it's got a, actually a split cover. So you can either open it wide like this, or if you just want to drop a, a fish in, you open up the small side and drop the fish in. All the way in the bottom, it's very wide and very long, and it's tapered. So it fills up and it drains out fast. And you know, with many of the uh, uh, laws now regarding water in the live well, you want a live well that's gonna drain thoroughly. And this is a big live well, but it's still gonna drain thoroughly. Um, the other thing about this live well is that it's insulated. So whether you're salmon fishing, you want to throw some ice in there and throw some salmon on ice, or you're fishing a, a walleye tournament and you've got that bag of a lifetime, that 50 pound bag of walleyes, those fish are going to have plenty of room to swim around here and stay perfectly fresh.
The other feature that uh, fishermen like about the live well is that the gaskets are recessed and they pinch onto this uh, lip, which helps to prevent water from slopping around in the boat as you're running from fishing spot to fishing spot. You'll really appreciate the storage under this rear deck. The one final storage area I like to talk about is the starboard gunnel behind the driver's seat. And there are two storage cabinets there. It's actually closed in and uh, it's carpeted, so things you put in there won't slide out and fall back down in the gunnels. Th those storage areas are great for planer boards, uh, marker buoys, or you can actually put the little 3650 Plano box stocked in there again as a library. So this boat holds just an incredible amount of tackle and gear. Uh, behind the uh, captain's chair is one of the areas on many boats that's overlooked. And on the Skeeter 2025, this area has been really maximized. Next, I'd like to talk about performance versatility. You know, when shopping for a boat, the rule of thumb for many anglers is to go with maximum horsepower. The MX-2025 is one of those boats where that guideline doesn't apply. The MX-2025 was designed to be a very versatile, true multi-species fishing boat. That's why Skeeter engineers designed the MX-2025 hull to be optimized with its lowest horsepower motor. In this case, it's the Yamaha 200 horsepower V6. By taking this design approach, you get optimum performance regardless of the motor you select. At Skeeter Boat Center, there are three different Yamaha motors that we recommend for the MX-2025 to ensure optimum performance. The Yamaha 200 horsepower V6 four-stroke is the motor we recommend for a base package. It will offer the best economy and works great for most applications. The F200 will top 50 miles per hour and it provides an excellent hole shot and impressive load carrying capability. The 3.3 liter 254 stroke is a great mid-range package that does mid-50s for speed. And you can upgrade your MX2025 to the 300 offshore and turn your fishing boat into a rocket ship. 300 is max horsepower and the top speed on this configuration will be high 50s just touching 60 GPS. An optimized hull has another benefit. As you fully load the MX-2025 with gear and people, the speed will hold close to the top speed with only a couple miles per hour penalty for a loaded up boat. Select the 300 offshore and you'll have one of the fastest deep fees on the water. This MX-2025 has the 300 offshore and the price spread between the F200 and the 300 offshore is $5,700. The F-250 is only about $2,500 more than the F-200. And that brings me to the final benefit. The Skeeter MX-2025 offers fantastic value for the money. You can purchase the MX-2025 nicely equipped from Skeeter Boat Center for the low 50s or mid 50s with a kicker. That's starting from about $375 per month with 10% down. The MX-2025 is thousands less than its primary 20-foot competitor and only 6,000 more than our extremely popular MX-1825 for a similarly equipped boat. And be sure to check out our specials page on the website for extra special deals on the MX-2025. So there you have it. The MX-2025 has so much to offer and the best way to experience the MX-2025 is by taking a test drive. And we'd be happy to arrange one for you. Just give us a call, and yes, we'll even do a test drive on the river during the winter months, or stop by one of our two convenient locations and see the MX-2025 in person, either our new location on Highway 10 in Ramsey, Minnesota, or at our Wisconsin location in Chippewa Falls. Skeeter Boat Center is the number one volume Skeeter dealer in the upper Midwest, and we offer the largest selection of Skeeter Deep fees, all backed by our best price guarantee. Check out our large inventory online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com. And remember, our goal is to help you have fun fishing.